talked about the cringeworthy and really dangerous concept of these so-called COVID parties before. Well, here in California, where cases are surging, there now seems to be this video evidence of a party that's so over the top, you have to see it to believe it. What's up, friends? What's happening? What's going on? So, I've been getting a bit of hate mail from all my female DJs out there because every time I start my videos, I always welcome you guys as bro. So today, we are correcting that, we are fixing that, because today we are doing it for all my lady DJs, all my female DJs out there on the internet. Shout out to all my queens out there. So queens, welcome back to the video, welcome back to the vlog. I'ma need y'all queens to do me a favor. I'ma need y'all queens to slay, absolutely slay, yes. Slay that like button, queens. Let's see if we can get at least at least a thousand likes from y'all queens. And to my DJ bros, I'ma need you guys to absolutely smash that like button like you guys smash your side pieces. Demolish that ish, wreck that ish. After you bros get finished with that like button, it ain't ever gonna be the same. So bros and queens, today we are doing another gig log. Yes, and in today's video, we are taking it back to the summer of 69. Those were the best days of my I met one noise. Those were the best days of my life. That's right, in today's video, we are rewinding the clock and headed back to the summer of 2019. This actually might have been spring. It was May of 2019. And we do an epic, an epic, epic, epic wedding that I'm surprised I did not upload last year. I don't know why, but this one just so happened to slip away from me. I do remember that this was a big, big weekend for me. I had four weddings that weekend, and this one was on a Sunday. So I must have absolutely just, uh, just slept on it. And then, as I was getting ready for Vlogmas of this year, smash that like button if you guys are enjoying the daily videos, by the way. I found this gem in my archives. And let me just tell you this, what you're about to see in this day and age that we live in, in the age of the Rona, this would absolutely be illegal. These types of events just cannot happen anymore. I'd probably be in jail if I did an event of this caliber in this day and age. This was in the before time, in the good times, but more good times are to come. Without further ado, roll this gig log, here we go. We are here in my hometown of Neptune, New Jersey, the Jersey Shore, and we are here at uh, Jumping Brook Country Club. You guys have seen me do a ton of events here at Jumping Brooks, but ironically, you guys know that I'm mostly a wedding DJ. This is actually my first time, first time ever, doing a wedding here. I've done photo booth events here, I've done corporate events here, I've done holiday parties here, I've done birthday parties here, sweet 16s, quinceañeras, everything except a wedding. And today's my first one, first time doing a wedding here. They have a ton of different rooms here at this venue, but I don't think you guys have ever been in this room in particular. And fun fact, this is actually where our prom and our military ball uh, when I was in ROTC was held. So we are here, right back at it, Jumping Brook Country Club. Also, fun fact about this place, I think one of my first gig logs ever was actually at this place. And we're here for Lauren and Patrick's wedding. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Today we have a decent sized setup. We have up lights, we have TVs, and lighting. So uh, a ton of different stuff. We're also taking care of the hat trick, ceremony, cocktail, and reception. And this is our room right here. I don't think I've ever shown you guys this. It is a country club, which means that there is a awesome, golf course that we get to overlook today. Check it out. Woo, that is so nice. And uh, right here, this is actually where ceremony is gonna be held. Then we're moving into cocktail over there in that room, and then we'll come in here for the actual ceremony. So you guys can see, we're going for a purple theme today. Christian right now, say what's up. 
he's taking care of our totem situation and then we'll install tvs we'll set up over here and our sweetheart table will be right across so uh very nice decor about 100 people today 120 i would say so uh this is it right here the setup commences right now all right so we don't have much time to set up because uh, we actually had to make two trips today usually when we have this setup we get a u-haul and we bring everything in in one trip but uh, i'm not exaggerating when i say this my office is literally right across the street from this place that's actually how i got this party they look me up they type in in google dj's near me <laughs> and i show up because i'm literally right across the street from the venue and my house is like five blocks down so i'm super 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 local all right we're gonna set up over here i'm gonna get an angle shot because uh, i don't want the windows to kind of blow out the the time lapse which i think is gonna happen regardless so are you mark you say go As I'm going through this footage, um, I realized one of the reasons why I didn't upload this video. I realized that I didn't do much vlogging at this event. I completely just forgot it, and uh, I didn't do a very good job of explaining everything that was going on. But as you guys can see, the TVs that I am using at this event are very small compared to the ones that I currently use. So now I use 60 inch TVs. And as you guys can see, the 50 inch TVs just don't look all that big as compared to the 60 inch TV. And I use two meter totems, which is about six and a half feet. So those totems aren't that big, but you can see that those TVs don't look very big. They did get the job done, but obviously I would recommend anybody watching out there, you really need to step up to at least 60 inches. As you guys can see, it just makes such a difference. Those extra 10 inches, that's what she said. So also, as we were setting up, you may have noticed that there was a speaker stand that was missing a speaker. And shout out to all my OG viewers, but back in the before time I used to only bring three speakers to an event and for this particular event we had to take care of ceremony cocktail and reception and back before I had my Bose S1 my Maui's and all that cool stuff that I now have I used to repurpose my reception speaker for ceremony so what we would do is we would take a reception speaker bring it over to our ceremony and then when people would go into the cocktail room we would use uh, my monitor in the cocktail cocktail room and then we would bring the ceremony speaker into the reception speaker then I would send my assistant to go grab the cocktail speaker and bring it into the reception ballroom so there was a lot of back and forth going on we did it this way just because I didn't have the speakers and also I didn't have the space back in that time I think I was still using just my individual car or renting u-hauls to bring the stuff around also you may have noticed that Christian was working with me at this event and a lot of you OG viewers were asking me hey where's Christian been how come he hasn't been in the gig logs uh, during quarantine Christian hurt his back at his day job so he hasn't been working with me but all right it's time to suit up and get this ceremony going let's do this <laughs> you through the setup real quick before we head out for our ceremony people are arriving but it's uh it's a little bit humid out it's not uh necessarily comfortable weather to be in so i'm guessing people are going to stroll in right as we start we did do up lighting um they are not on we want to preserve our up lights until we actually get to reception everything is purple so we'll also be doing purple on the facade we got purple on the tvs this is it right here 
no worries. Lauren and Patrick, Bates by Fate, May 26, 2019. So it's our standard setup. We got two focus spots, three Zs. We got the totems. We got the 50 inch TVs. We got the SRX speakers. One is outside for ceremony. We have our facade. We have our console with CDJ's uh, 2000 and a DJM 900 mixer. We have a second computer running our TVs. We have a splitter there for the TVs. A DJ UB lights right here. Through the window, I can kind of show you guys what the ceremony looks like boom right here this is our ceremony right there so that's pretty much it as far as our equipment goes so I'm gonna head down there and start working uh, ceremony so wish me luck here we go <laughs> Power vested in men by the great state of New Jersey, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Patrick, you may kiss your bride. Welcome to the beautiful Jumping Brook Country Club for our celebration this evening. Tonight, of course, celebrating the marriage of Lauren and Patrick. Let me hear you make some noise for our newlyweds out there tonight. Oh, yes. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you, for the very first time as husband and wife, your brand new Mr. and Mrs. Patrick and Lauren Bates. Let me hear you make some noise for your brand new Mr. and Mrs. Bates. Now, if you kindly please clear the dance floor, our newlyweds are getting ready to share their very first dance as husband and wife. So get those cameras ready. These two have chosen a beautiful song. It's by Hunter Hayes, and it's entitled The Warmth. Morning, people. I can't hear you out there. Let me hear you make some noise. Beautiful first dance. So right now, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to look around the room, look around your table, and I need you to find a dance partner. And I need you to escort them out here as soon as the music starts playing. Jump, get ready to jump, get ready to jump, here we go! 
guys to do me a favor. We're getting ready to do a sparkler send-off for our newlyweds. So I need you guys to follow my bride and get their sparklers ready. All right, guys, we are here with your brand new Mr. and Mrs. Bates. Lauren and Patrick, congratulations guys. These two just got married and we just partied out with their friends and family. How was it guys? It was incredible. Amazing. That, Absolutely. You, you played every single song that we wanted to. Everybody was on the dance floor. Everybody on the dance floor. Everybody, the, all insane. generations. You, you on got the, dance floor. the 90 year old <laughs> grandma on the dance floor. On the dance floor. I just, I can't thank you guys enough. The memories made, the lighting. The music was phenomenal. Thank you so much. Oh, you guys, thank you great. so much for letting us be a part of your day. It was awesome. I had a fun time playing for your crowd. It was a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much. So there you guys have it. What'd you think of that? That was an epic, epic, epic gig log for the ages. And like I said, this was a gig that would not be possible in today's Rona age. This was such an awesome crowd to DJ for. This was one of those crowds that you could play absolutely anything and they would dance to it. That was how much of an awesome crowd it was. Just a quick reminder that I will be giving away this DJ controller to one of you lucky viewers out there on the internet. To enter to win, be sure to follow me on Instagram, subscribe to this channel, hit that like button so that I know that you guys are watching the videos and you guys want to win. Win. Winner will be announced on the 19th, so stay tuned. But alright, party people, thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your questions, comments, and concerns down in those comments below. Check out the new DJ bar merch using the links underneath my video. You'll also see photos of my merch line, so check them out. Buy yourself a piece of merch for the holiday. Or alternatively, you can support my channel by downloading my DJ tools, DJ sound effects, DJ planning forms, and all that stuff in between including the TV visuals that you guys saw in this video by checking out the links in the description. I'll leave equipment links to everything we use down below. Please like this video if you like this, subscribe if you're new around here, and if you really want to help me out, don't forget to turn on that bell so that you bros and queens can be notified next time we do another gig log. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.